Ours is totally worse. <laughs> so there's absolutely no space in the car. None. We're like playing touches at this point. And Lauren is packing so popcorn funny. and Annie you needs her like, mats and her food and this and that. and. Joking? I do not have seen them. I'm, I'm yeah, single. Le still single lemons in various parts of the world. But also, but also, why do we have lemons? We can't buy some new lemons. Why can I not? I literally look over and I go, We can't buy some new lemons. Why do you and Annie have to take everything? She goes, Because I moved from ice and I go, Your popcorn? Uh, your yeah. lemons? <laughs> yeah, Raz is putting single lemons in bits of the car. It's not that full, come on. There's not even light in there. <laughs> it's not that full. Whoa, so we've got no room in our car. So I'm figuring out ways to like sneakily add bags to the pile of bags that they have. So Beaks didn't see it there. I was like, oh, how's it going in the back there? And just kind of popped my bag down on the side. So now we're gonna have to try and do the same thing again. Trick them into not seeing it. My sister lives there. You could always just go to your home. Do you want to do that? Are we gonna fit things, or do you want to just get the towing rack? Right? Oh, uh, <laughs> Tom, you weren't kidding. This, this is a lot of bags. Pardon? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, on the locker and on the open. I forgot to come in there. Just so because you skipped the third year. Papa. Would you say this uh, resembles your personality? No. No. This is very difficult for me to handle that it's like this. It's very difficult for me. There's a reason I don't stay in my room. I haven't had time to fix it up. And then when I walk in here, I decide to go do something else. Because <laughs> this is stressing me out. I'm gonna take half an hour to organize, line up, and then I'll finish the rest tomorrow. <laughs> Hi man. How's it doing? Oh. <laughs> I was meeting up with our sports chiropractor Andrew Morton that we fly in every year for the games. I, I cannot put it in words how much of a help he is. Even though I feel like body is 100% ready, he can always get it to like 105%, 107%. There are very few people in this world that ex can actually do the things that he does. You have fun Okay, huh. don't get open <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. Shall I have? Yes, I will. Bike very fast. I just read the study that was done. This is very dangerous when Annie needs <laughs> Annie Reed's research would be a great series. <laughs> Anywho, this research was people taking ice bath and checking if breathing and staying calm, just the difference of breathing and staying calm in the ice bath would keep you in longer. And the same people going in the ice bath and swearing, which one would keep them in longer? The swearing kept them in longer. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Did you think so, of Khan? I have not shared this with Khan. He doesn't need it. He does not need <laughs> more <laughs> swearing in his he, life. He, he already knows it. So two weeks ago in training, we were doing this really brutal workout Yami had given us and I felt something happen in my lat on the chest where I was like, I felt like this, like a rubber band snap and I'm just like so used to my body and things not feeling right and it just didn't feel right and I came down, I was like, I'm not doing another pull up and I told Yami like I'm done with the workout, like something didn't feel right. I could barely open up a door. Getting out of like the bed was a little bit hard for me, like I definitely felt like I strained something. We retested on Thursday chest to bar pull ups, which was a thing that was irritating it and I could not even do one chest of our pull-up. Yami and Andrew have been working on me like non-stop throughout the two weeks. Like we've been working so hard to get this better because I know Yami really wants to see me out on the floor and Andrew does and everyone on the team like we've trained so hard for this. And then to have something like this happen so close to the CrossFit Games, like well, if we were like a month out, it'd be completely fine. But it's like two weeks before and you have something like this, it's like, do you even think that I'm gonna be able to compete this weekend? And so last resort, we had Kat come out because we just needed to like buy more time to give my lat some time to heal. So she was training with the team. If I wasn't able to compete, Kat was gonna take my place. And I knew that was the best option for the team, like if I'm not able to compete. So I feel for Kat that it's kind of like a, sh not a very great situation to be in. Um, but I'm like super happy I'm able to compete and my lap feels great and we're ready to go it's just like sucks that it had to happen so close and we've just been going through a lot we are on tuesday night 
the competition starts early tomorrow morning for Björkvin on the individual side. And then the teams uh, will kick off a little bit later with Annie, Tola, Khan and Lauren. Andrew, our uh, trusted ninja guru, Jedi master of treatment, arrived today from London. So we put him straight to work, just go through the whole team, make sure that they're all fine-tuned, ready to go. He's been working with us for so long, as you guys know if you've been following these videos. So this one is unknown after event three. I mean, the CrossFit Games is always the unknown and the unknowable. So you kind of, once you get through that semi-final stage by latest, you have to start to think about things that are a little bit more outside the box and outside the gym. It's really about like getting all the logistics in place. These guys know what to do and we know what we need to do. And our job is really just to support the athletes through the competition. And that includes being on top of timelines, knowing when to eat, when to hydrate, what to do with those things specifically, the warm-ups, cool downs, when are the treatment windows for Andrew, things like that. It's just making sure that the ship runs smoothly. What is it? Three back pulls, 75 single on this. And then it's like uh, two strict back pulls, so probably no legs. Here we go.
wow, wow, wow. Look, there's a cameraman that hasn't uh, dared to show himself today. Like I said to Yami, I'm not gonna. No, I'm, I'm, I am going to end this day on a high. Cast like it was, was such a shit show in event three, where I felt confident of at least getting into the top 10. It's a gymnastic event, I should be able to do that. But it is what it is, and you know, it was sad for an hour, but it's also important to, like Yami is always saying, to turn those feelings into something good, use them in the next events and create a momentum. Was it a tough one hour? Yeah, it was like almost one of the most like tough hours I've ever had in my career because of like how shitty it felt. It all was almost, like I was saying to Yami, it almost felt like they were kind of just insulting me in a way because I've been putting so much on the line and then they think they can just, you know, take my reps away where they should have been reps. What was the plan coming into the final event of yeah. the day? Well, like I wasn't gonna go out there and be like angry, <laughs> not that kind of stuff, but we just planned it well, I think, and I knew exactly like how to execute and like how it, how it was gonna feel and try to take advantage of like apparently good capacity on the in the dips. You didn't celebrate? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. The trouble is when volcanoes happen in Iceland, they sometimes mess things up for the rest of Europe. Yeah, but, but imagine seeing one of nature's most ferocious displays yeah. live yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of you. Yeah. Fucking lava. Lava! <laughs> We're missing a volcanic eruption in Iceland. It happened like two days ago. We were there for six months and the one before that happened finished like a month before we got there. That's like the one thing I really wanted to see. See Iceland is like cheering you on from afar. Yeah. With the or it's there. really mad that we're fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> When you finish lifting, I started to the camera of Nico. I'm like, just wait till you see this guy run. <laughs> I got to see yeah, like the 405 is impressive, but that fucking run, dude. I feel like, that's how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe fucking Con lied to me. A week and a half ago, we're like driving the car. I was like, are you nervous for a running event? And he was like, nah, we're, we're a top five running team. I was like, that makes me feel a lot better. Are you sure? Because like, I've only ever placed bottom five. Individual, team, any running event ever. <laughs> And he was like, nah, we're definitely a top five running team. I was like, okay, that makes me feel better. And he was like, 
Then I looked off into the distance, and no, I lied to my friend. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Oh, he said that in space. Yeah. Have you ever jumped 184 kilos without warm up? Or jumped from 365 to 405. <laughs> I think that's like that's stupid. Probably. It shouldn't exist. Like, people don't do that. And I'd r run a six minute mile. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm in the, in the black tunnel of the end of a mile run, and I see Khan's going wild as I knew he would be. And I'm like, I'm going as fast as I can. And as we're getting closer to him like this, I'm like, he doesn't have the chip. Lauren has a chip. He doesn't really have to sprint anywhere. And I knew he was gonna fall right on his face. Something about it, I was, but I was too tired to like do anything. We get around the corner and he's right down. Selwyn Rocky up second. And now it's eighth day crossfit. Up just as quick though, athlete. How has the competition been so far? Um. Also yesterday, <laughs> I would like to not talk about yesterday. Yesterday was suboptimal. Uh, we did decent on the bike event. I believe we could have done better there, but it was okay. And it was the first event of the games, getting that out of the way, nerves and everything. Event two, I almost just don't want to talk about it. It was not good. Mistakes were made. I don't even know what to say about it. Like, honestly, I I don't understand what happened. I don't know what happened in that event. I'm not gonna put the blame on Lauren here because we win together as a team, we lose together as a team. We should have looked at movement patterns before and worked on things better beforehand and that's on us as a team. It's really easy to smile and have fun and do well when you're doing really good and you're on the top of the leaderboard. But I think it's just true character, not giving up and coming back and coming back strong and ready to fight. I never quit. I will never stop fighting for points and neither will my team. And that's how we went into today. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I know. I've done this multiple times before. Mm -hmm. But I don't get any sleep, so yeah. not the first, yeah, first we, rodeo. We, we've been here before. No. Uh, we got the capital coming up, so a couple of pick flips, a little bit of running, some carrying, and then go back home. the back off. He's gonna take a basically before he hits that like you just gotta show up. You have to show up. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. Because Not of this in the money. Use my voice. I'm putting you on top one. Oof. I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling you what I'd like for you to do, I'm setting an expectation. No, I mean, I'm going, I fucking want to win it, absolutely. But I'm trying to I wonder, because I actually think the ski might be sneaky more important than the swim, provided well, you're right, an okay right. swimmer. <laughs>
I thought were really really fun. We took second place in both events. It would be would have been really fun to take first. <laughs> I like messed up a little bit. I did like nine dumbbell snatches, threw the dumbbell, put it down, and do another snatch. No, we picked it up with the wrong hand. Oh! Your one on the right or on the left, and then you picked it up again on the left. You started like this. So if you would have picked it up with the other hand, it would have been a great. Yeah, I almost executed it. I knew I needed to make up any seconds I could. But yeah, that was really fun. This next one is stuff that I love, so we'll see how it goes. Just do double unders and then move shit across the field. Do double unders, move more shit across the field. Do double unders, move more shit across the field. And I love that kind of stuff. And here we go, Eight minutes and 22 seconds set by eight oh, three plus the title. And they've got quite the lead over the pack. 48 points separate Oslo and Eden. And it's going to be Reikovic finishing it off. Now race for your next finishers, lanes number two. I'm trying to chew <laughs> my foot. Prepping for the strength event. Final event on Saturday is sandbag to shoulder full weight. Got to make Iceland proud, the strongman community. There's nothing to save really. It's you're just gonna pick that back up and try to throw it on your shoulder and sacrifice the spine. I'm sorry Andrew, but I gotta sacrifice my spine to it. programming this year for the individuals I think it's really really cool and it's very athletic I like the fact that there's been so little classic CrossFit probably because I suck at classic CrossFit <laughs> the other games I feel like drag on forever and I'm like by Saturday night I'm like man I am just ready for this to be done I don't feel like that I'm pretty just pumped to get in and rip into whatever the workouts are tomorrow maybe it's because I'm actually like eating and sleeping and doing my recovery and I've never done that before. <laughs> Warming up for workouts and all this kind of stuff. But I also think it was kind of like having that massive, massive hiccup on day one. It kind of feels like everything else is a bonus. Despite that hiccup, you know, we are one of the top teams here. Full credit to all the other teams, uh, particularly Mayhem. They're just putting on a clinic at the moment. It's fantastic, it's awesome. When that happened, I felt like then we had nothing to lose and everything to gain. And I think that's a really cool place to be in as an athlete because it means that you can just fucking roll the dice and go. For sure. Pizza time. You sound so loud. Mm -hmm. I promise, it will be good tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said I would never have a bad Sunday even though everything is going to shit because I get hyped up for drinking in the afternoon. <laughs> Thanks.
Tough, tough this year. My worst finish since 2015. Yeah. Yeah, we got off. Have a